Michigan had a major role in today's January 6th hearing. Sure did. A Republican lawmaker detailed what happened when former President Trump tweeted out his personal cell phone number. And we learned Trump supporters wanted to hide out in the state capitol to try to overturn the election results. Mara McDonald following all that testimony and starts us off with former state GOP chair Laura Cox. Mara. Devin, in her testimony, Laura Cox sounds utterly flabbergasted by the idea of this fake elector scheme. Take a listen. Michigan Republican electors were planning to meet in the Capitol and hide overnight so that they could fulfill the role of casting their vote in per law in the Michigan uh, uh, chambers. And um, I told him in no uncertain terms that that was insane and inappropriate. The fake electors ultimately did not do that, but did try to access the Capitol and were turned away by MSP. Senate Majority Leader Mike Shirky testified when the president invited top Michigan GOP legislators to D.C. He told the president they would be following the law in Michigan. Trump wasn't pleased by that response and then tweeted out Shirky's personal phone number as part of a pressure campaign. All I remember is receiving just shy of 4,000 text messages over a short period of time. It, it was a loud noise, loud, consistent cadence. So, you know, we hear that the, that, uh, the uh, Trump uh, folks are calling and asking for changes in the electors, and you guys can do this. Well, you know, they were, they were believing things that were untrue. And Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson testified that armed Trump supporters surrounded her Detroit home after the election shouting, stop the steal, one yelling murderers. She described it to the committee as scary, not knowing whether she and her family were going to be physically attacked. It was really hard to watch again today because I was reminded how for a good 45 minutes, the only thing that stood between that crowd and my family was one neighborhood security guard he could see standing on that porch. When Detroit police arrived that night at Benson's home, the crowd dispersed. There were no arrests. Now, as far as that fake elector scheme goes, Dana Nessel's office has turned over its findings to federal prosecutors. We're downtown. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right, Mara, the next hearing is scheduled for this Thursday. Team at Nightly News will bring you more of the big moments from today's hearing ahead at 630 here on Local 4 just as soon as this newscast is done.